We haven't actually videoed a lot of this because we've already covered it in previous vlogs. Um, but also because of the vegetation, there's really not much to see. Uh, we've had some cracking sunsets. We've tried to moor up in some really nice places, but hey, um, what we did yesterday, because it got too windy, we ended up being forever um, rubbed along the side by the boats trying to control their boats because they were pushed over into us because of the wind. We weren't the only ones, it was a row of us, so all of the boats got rubbed along. Um, but that's boating for you, no harm done, It's just it was just a windy day. So onwards for the vlog for today. The last time we came past Cropperdy Marina was in April 2018. It was blowing a hoony and it was raining and it was really, really miserable. Today, the sun is out, but it's still very, very windy. Even the ducks have gone to sleep under the trees. Though. Just come through Cropperdy Lock under Bridge 152. After mooring overnight here, we're now heading our way down to Banbury. all remains of the property wharf.
This is a slat mill lock. It's such a beautiful place. The last time we were at this particular lock, which is lock number 27, It's all flooded and the river was in spate, which is the River Churwell, which just runs alongside here. And uh, the water was overflowing here, going through that little gate. Not so today. Little Burton Lock. First of August, first of September tomorrow, and we're on our way to Banbury. That's where we're stopping today. We've left the property this morning, and as you can hear, it's getting noisier and noisier. And that's because in front of us, very shortly. We'll be going under the M40, the M40 motorway. This is a, one of the noisiest ones we've been under, I think, for a long time. Say all everybody be back to school this week coming up, and a lot of people will have their holidays finished, so they're either going back home to get themselves sorted for work or they're heading back that way anyway. Some of them are already back at school, yes, yes, Scotland. Weeks. Yes, our granddaughters up in Scotland have been back in um, school for a few weeks now. skirts of Banbury now uh, and to my left we've just passed some long-term moorings um, and also onto the left there is the Spice Ball Country Park. To my right in here is Wix's, Halfords, B&Q and Dunham Mill. The 
very convenient bridge to walk from one side to the other if you need those. On the left here are 14 days per month moorings here, which is CRT as well. If you exceed the days, you get charged £25 a day. As you can see through there, that's the Country Park, a lovely place to walk around, especially it's nice to take under dogs as well. After an overnight stop, we travel through Banbury and head towards Somerton. we come through Banbury, this is Castle Quay, we had none of this, to the left or to the right. Tooley's boatyard is up ahead to the right, there's also the lift bridge there. It's actually a footbridge going over. That's all gone now. That's the building work going on. Not sure what for. This is Hardy, which is owned by uh, Tooley's. I believe this is the one that um, also sank just after they got her. But nice to see she's back up and about again. And she's going to be there for restoration for Tooley's. And there's Tooley's boatyard there. Julie's is one of the oldest working dry docks on the inland waterways. It's been in continuous use since 1778. It also has a 200 year old forge which is in regular use by its blacksmiths. Another bit of Tooley's. And there's the next lock over there.
just moving through Banbury. These are some of the old wharf buildings. See some of the remnants of the walls, doors and openings here. We've gone straight out onto the boats. Morning. from the old forge. It's got bits and shoes and chains and all sorts up there. And it's still in between. Yeah. We had an, um, a mooring up at Banbury last night, right next to the Spice Ball Park, Country Park. So the girls had a nice walk around there several times yesterday. I um, have to say it's probably the most wonderful smelling mooring we've ever had because we were moored right next to a commercial bakery and the aroma coming out all the time was fresh break bed with a hint of hot cross buns absolutely delicious and mouth watering there's more old wharf side buildings wonder what they used to produce in there. Long, long gone. Today is Sunday. Church bells are peeling well. And there's the modern equivalent on the opposite side. When we were here in April 2018, the field on the right was just a field. Now, as you can see, it's been turned into a building site because this is where we moored along here. That was a field. Not anymore. But according to the plans, there's supposed to be a marina that's going to be built here. Not sure where, but along this stretch somewhere. Amazing what 16 months can do. They're all just fields. the details if anybody wants to know. So public houses, restaurant and canal basin is going in there. There's a pub, a restaurant, 
restaurant and a canal basin. I wonder if it's going to be on this little bit here. Under the M40 again. Busy old day again, as always. Under the M40 again. Cloud. It's just starting to rain on us. And this is King Sutton. September and we're cruising on the road. This stretch of the Oxford, we just come through King Sutton and when we came through this bit before, all this was underwater. The River Cherwell is over there on the trees, but all that field was in just full of water and most of this bank was underwater so I couldn't walk alongside with the dogs at all. It was quite eerie really because we were the only ones on here and we didn't really see much boats moving. But it was quite a strange feeling to be surrounded by water and just this strip of hedgerow or trees that was all that was left between the water that side which is now fields and the water in here but most of this towpath was completely washed out with streams of water coming from the field into the canal as well filling the canal up quite strange to see all that field there whereas before it was just an extension of the River Chewell. There's a bridge on the other side that will let the water go through when it gets too high. It's part of the flood defences there to let it go through. If you look down there, that's the River Chewell there. That's how close it got. That's how close it is normally down there, but so 16 months ago, totally different story. 
uh, we keep um, getting caught or grounding out. So this time, because we've got a lift bridge here, we can't go any further, we've got a bit stuck. So Jonathan's got off the boat to pull her over from the other side. So we can move through this old wharf here and Nell's bridge is just the other side and the lock. So this is how we're having to do it at the moment. Just get back on now. So we can carry on. Look at that beautiful craftsmanship. I wonder how long ago that local blacksmith made that gate. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Buildings being transformed. More work being done. Once upon the time, the old wharf. Not still being used at the moment, this side anyway. There's a wharf. CRT, a winding hole here. The canteen and office up there, it says. Back in April 2018, we were held up for 10 days while we waited for the water to drop at Nels Bridge. We couldn't proceed until the water level had dropped below the red line. That ensured that we would get safe passage under the bridge. No such problem today. We easily got under the bridge. is coming into one of the diamond locks you can hopefully hear or you might be able to hear that's the river chill coming in from the right there it is um, it's going over there to the left but it actually comes across underneath this bridge here so it pushes you sideways so I've got to set the diamond lock so Jonathan can go straight in hopefully not a lot of uh, problems so that's it cut across our path there whoops, and you got my head done See if this is okay. No, diamond lock. The boat's drifting out now. If I remember, this is a heavy one. Yeah, um, almost done. This is where we caught the um, just crutch there. just on this corner because we got pushed over quite violently with the river and it caught us there on the corner. Yeah, I think we're okay today. Well, I have never had to use the bridge to push it open. 
this is one horrid, horrid lock to open. Jonathan's gone back to bring the boat forward. Horrible lock this. Very, very heavy. Thanks for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so. You can follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and why not join us on Patreon and become a patron. All the links to the pages are in the description below. Don't forget to leave comments and ring the little bell if you'd like to hear notifications of when we next have our next video. See you next time.